Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to your baby. Yes, another day. We are alive another day. We are above the ground, y'all. And that is something to be happy and grateful for. Because I'm going to tell you, there's somebody laying up in the morgue right now that got called in to the emergency room last night. Okay? So believe that. We got another chance to do God's will, to do our will, to do the right thing. We have another chance, y'all. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for coming on and watching me because you did not have to do that. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you love my contact and you love my vibe, and I meant to say content, I said contact. Look, y'all catch that? That's why I stopped wearing <laughs> Look, y'all love my content. You love my vibe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. When your girl upload another video and when I go live, because I go live every week and y'all know how much I adore them, com them comments. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe. That's it. It's like easy. It don't take no effort. Subscribe, bell, comment, like, hey, share, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, hit that bell, baby. Click that like, make that comment, share, like, subscribe, hit that bell, baby. Look at me. I done came up, look, I done came up with a little song. Hey, look, y'all. Today's a good day. I want y'all to send some good vibes out for me. I take my little final exam today. So y'all throw some good vibes out for me. Do this to, the, to your screen while, while I'm talking. Throw some vibes out there for me. I got my coffee and I got my eggs. I got me some lunch today. I went to um, El, Pol El, Polio, El Polo Loco. El Polo Loco. Basically, that means crazy chicken. Okay? For a crazy lady. I don't even know where it's at. It's in my lunch bag somewhere. Let me see. I got some grilled chicken. With some jalapeno peppers, baby. Oh, yeah. And my little salad. Look, your girl's trying to do the right thing. Got my little salad. Yeah. Onions, bell, and, and oh, look, I was about to say some bell peppers. Look, ready to go home and cook something. Onions, I got some red onions in it and cucumbers. and So, I'm doing it, y'all. At least trying to. So look here, I'm gonna crack my eggs and I got to tell y'all something, child. Look, let me crack my. Ooh, good, one's already cracked. Cause I be like, usually I like to crack these when I'm at home and throw them away in the garbage because they be making your car stink. Okay, and I don't like leaving my windows down since I park on the street. Ooh, it make car be smelling like stank a dank dank. Smelling like somebody done did something that they shouldn't have did. Look, they shouldn't have did it in my car, okay? Uh, look how this egg boils. You know how you boil your egg and it crack because it be too much water in the, in the pot so your eggs be flopping up and down and kind of cracked open a little bit. But y'all notice I've been eating the yolk lately? I've been eating this yolk. Uh, well, mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. protein, protein. So look here, I'm the only, I'm my daughter, my father's only child, okay? So we, we close, and, um, you know, 
he remarried when when I was a young. I was about five or six or seven when my no, I about no, I was three. I was three years old when my dad and and my mom divorced and all that stuff. Anyway, long story short, I'm just you know I got to tell you a little history. So me and my dad is we really close, and um, it's only like two of them left. He's a twin. My auntie. So everybody else has kind of passed away. My grandmother, my grandfather, his other brother and sisters and all that. So it's just it's just my father and his twin sister left. But back in the day, my grandfather used to cook. He's from New Orleans. Straight up Creole. And then they came to, you know, Sacramento. They came to California. Long story short, my grandfather can cook, okay? And he opened up, back in the day I was little. He opened up a little, a little restaurant for a short time. Because that's how he made his money when he first got here. He was making a lot of Louisiana type of, of dishes, okay? And he always be in the kitchen creating. And I think that's where I got my cooking skills from because when I was growing up, I always loved to cook. And he always would tell me that you experiment. Cooking is experimenting. And you just put your your seasonings and your stuff together and different ingredients that you like. And you just make up some. So that's what he did. So long story short, he had made up a, a, a little cookbook the sad thing is he never got it published nobody ever um helped him with that it's not a big book but he journaled everything he did and kept it in like a, a tablet you know like a little book so my uncle my dad's brother's wife got a hold of that book you know after everybody start passing away and she took a, a couple of the recipes, okay, out the book. And, you know, my at, before my grandfather passed away, he wasn't tripping off her making some of the stuff. So she deviated with the recipe, which most of us do, okay? So she started adding to this one particular, uh, you know, dish. She started adding different ingredients to make it to her liking, which is fine. But it's not your recipe, okay? If you have a recipe and you add some stuff to it, you're just adding to that recipe. You did not create it on your own. When you create something, you create it from the, from the ruler to the tutor, from the beginning to the end. Every single ingredient, you put that together, okay? So I'm saying this to say that to say this. So about a week, I haven't talked to my dad, and I so I finally got a hold of him. I was like, "What's up? I haven't talked to you in a while because he's older and he's been having some health issues." And I was like, you know, so he was telling me he was going through that. He was trying to get a lawyer and trying to him and my aunt was trying to do some stuff to get her not to to publish that because it's not hers, okay? And that and, and, and you know. So basically, it's a copycat of the recipe, which is fine. But you need to say copycat on it. Okay, that's just like, I love that, that soup from Olive Garden, the, the, the Tuscan soup. Tucson, no, is it Tuscan? Yeah, it's Tuscan. It has, it's, it's, it has um, potatoes and sausage and and kale and stuff like that it's a recipe and you can go online and pull up olive gardens soups and you can click on the tuscan soup okay and you can make it okay i'm just i'm getting where i'm going and if you get home and you make it and you like it and you start adding to it to so you can like it even more then that's not your recipe that is still not your recipe. You just added to that. 
You just add it to it. Now, if you want to, you know, publish it or whatever, you have to say copycat of. If you Google recipes, you're going to see other recipes is going to say copycat. Copycat of Olive Garden's Tuscan soup. It says copycat. Just like in school, there's a thing called plagiarizing. Plagiarize, you know how y'all know what I'm talking about. But sometimes my words be all twisted. Plagiarizing. And that's when you take somebody's words or things that they say and you, you copy them as your own. That's plagiarizing. Now, if you're doing an essay or report and you need to use some excerpts from a book, to keep yourself from getting in trouble for plagiarizing, you have to cite it by giving that author credit by saying this excerpt came from Billy Joe, article number 2825, 1988, and the book that it came from. Like they tried to say that Roots, that Alex Haley plagiarized that book. Google that. I'm not lying. There was somebody else who wrote that book and he wrote his book of his life. He did some history, but he added some stuff in it. So now they, they were saying that that was plagiarized. And I read that. I did. I read that on Google a few years ago, but you can Google it. You cannot take a recipe or take an article, write a book, or do anything without giving the author or the creator their credit. Just like music. People remake songs all the time. And when they remake them, they remake them and it, it, they make it to their own. They sing it and make it as their own, but they got to get permission from the writer. From the person who owns that music or that song. You still got to get permission. Now that's a little bit different from, from recipes and books and all that. <clears throat> so what I'm saying is you still got to get permission. And when you take a recipe that's already created, that's already out there, is already created, is already created, you take it. You find out what the ingredients is and you make that dish. But then you be like, well, shoot, I like it. Put me a little bit of, you know, uh, 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 cayenne in it. Or I'm going to put me a little bit of uh, garlic powder. I mean, you just add to it. I'm, I'm going to make the, ooh, I'm going to make this a little bit spicy. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to throw me some spices, some spices in it. I'm going to throw me some stuff in it to make it hot. And then it'd it be good. It'd be good to you. You get your taste buds all just watering. And then all of a sudden you say, well, shoot, I'm going to call this the da 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 da. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to call this, you know, the da 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 da. And shoot, and then, you, and then you start capitalizing on a recipe that all you did was added to it. The recipe was already created by the creator. And you just going to come in and add to it. And now it's, it's yours. Now you created it. Because you didn't add it to something that was already there. Already there. Already created. That's just like a person, you know, go pay an architect. To build them a house on this empty lot. And they do all the blueprints. They fix up everything how it's supposed to be. And then you come in and say, you know what? I think I want to. I think I, I want you to add another room here. And an entrance here. And maybe some steps over here. And then now. And so he go on and do it for you. And since you came up with three ideas, now you want to tell him you can't pay him because you the one created the whole, the whole thing. And all you did was add it to it. 
He didn't already built, you know, he didn't already drew up all the plans. Now you done came in and added to the plans and you made it to your liking. You added to what was already there so you can make it to your liking. Look, to your liking and now you done, now you're trying to take credit for the whole thing. Uh-uh. Come on, people. So I feel my dad on this one. He's very upset because, you know, his dad is gone. Okay, he don't mind hurt. You, you can't stop nobody from doing that. All they want is their dad's credit for it. Say it's a copycat. Give him credit. This recipe was founded by da-da-da-da-da. Or it's a copycat of, because if you Google it, you see copycat recipes, but they have to say copycat. And whenever you making a deviation to a, to a recipe, it's a copycat. It's not the original. It's a copycat. You can still sell it. People still may like it. People still may like the, your taste buds. Because everybody has different type of taste buds. You know, my mother can cook good. I came from a family, uh, I came from a funny family and a cooking family and a talking family. We cook, talk, and laugh. That's in my blood. We get together and laugh. Okay, I can find something funny in everything. To make a person feel better about that situation. And, and still bring some wisdom in for them to see things in a different perspective. Don't take from somebody else. Give them credit. That ain't right. And my father and my aunt, they are so upset over this. Okay. She took that recipe, one of his recipes that he created, went in the kitchen and just threw some stuff to Gilmo. And tasted it and said, nah, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. I mean, literally, because I do it. I do it myself. I ain't wrote nothing down. My daughter be like, oh, mama, you should do a cook. I go in the kitchen and my, my, my daughter be like, what's the name of this? I be like, it's something I concocted. I call it all. I call all my recipes that I think of and make up. I call them concoctions, but they be good. Because I like to cook and I know what my taste, what I'm trying to, what that taste I'm trying to get. And I'm so good. And you probably like that too. You, whoever's watching can go to a restaurant, eat something and can kind of taste the ingredients. First of all, you see the ingredients. You see the sausage. You see the onions. You see, you see that. But the seasonings, you can kind of taste a few of them. And then, you know, you might ask go online and look it up and see what it what it actually is but you can concoct i can i do a lot of concoctions i really go in the, in, in my kitchen and just make up stuff and it'd be good and i could actually give it a name and you know because i i'd be at work people be like what's that somebody concocted in the kitchen oh let me you got some more left at home i got a little bit left oh bring me a bowl of that Oh, girl, bring me a plate of that and be smelling good. I mean, concoction, something that you made up on your own and put it together. Not a recipe that's already made, already founded. You add to it. Now you're going to call it a whole nother name. And, and now you're going to capitalize on it like it's yours. And you all you did was added about six, you know, four or five, whatever ingredients in it that you like and, and then it, it's good people like it which is a good thing that's a good thing because everybody got their different taste buds but it's not yours it's a copycat of olive garden it's a copycat of spaghetti factory it's a copycat of kfc's original recipe Cause you didn't added a couple more ingredients in it. You took all their ingredients that he actually stole from someone 
back in the day, back way back in the day, way back. I mean, back like slavery day, right, right after slavery. This black man was frying up all this chicken. He didn't concocted all these different ingredients. And all the military men, when they come back, get out from war or all that stuff, they go to this little shack. Google it. Everything I say, you can Google. If you can't, I'll tell you that this is something I'm going through. This is something you can actually Google. Google the original KFC and see where it really came from. And my daughter was the one who put me up on that because she went to Clark Atlanta University. And she had to do an essay on, on uh, some, a black historical thing. And when she told me that, I was like, you lying. She's like, Google it, mama. This man gave him, he kind of coerced them. You know, back in them days, they still had power over us. He gave him a few little dollars, took his recipe, and called it Kentucky Fried Chicken. The Colonel, because he was a colonel in the service. And called it the Colonel's Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe, special recipe that he actually stole. You see how people are? To this day, they got a copycat recipe. If you Google it, Google KFC copycat recipe. To somebody added a different ingredient in it, and it, it tastes it still it tastes good. But it's a copycat because they added something else to it. My father is livid right now. And I, I understand what he's going through. I mean, I, mean, I get it. It's, it's frustrating. And all they're asking is, is give my dad his props. Give him his credit. Say where you got it from. Call it a copycat of. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. If you Google that, <coughs> you see a lot of it, it, you see a lot of recipes that says copycat. They had to say that because it's not their own. They didn't go in there and create it. Look, I'm going on and on. I'm so upset for my dad right now. I'm so upset. I'm upset because people capitalize off of other people. People will steal your dreams, steal your ideas. That's why I be telling my daughter, stop telling everybody what you're thinking. Just do it. Stop brainstorming with people. That happened to her. She was brainstorming with one of her girlfriends about something. And it didn't work out for her, but the girlfriend went and did it. There's, you can share some things, but some things that you're trying to do in life, keep it to yourself and just do it. Because my motto is, I can show you better than I can tell you. Because people always want to kind of knock down your dreams. Because they don't have none. Knock down your dream. They don't have none. Or are they always doing everything you everything you do? You buy a pink shirt, they go buy one. You buy a new car, they go buy one. You want to go on Jeannie Craig, they go on Jeannie Craig. It's like, don't you have a mind of your own? I mean, thank you. I, it's kind of flattering that you're copying me, but it gets annoying. It's like, don't you have anything? Don't you have any dreams? Don't you have any aspirations? It's like people do that. Then took my grandfather's my grandfather's recipe and and added some stuff to it and, 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 and trying to say she created it. My father and my aunt, they are livid right now. They are livid. They're trying to get a lawyer and everything. And they do got a leg to stand on because the, the original book, you could tell, is old. It's old. I, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I just, I pray that they can work that out. And I just hope that something in her heart, <coughs> and, you know, God or the universe or whatever would soften her heart and do the right thing. You know, this other recipes that she made up, but for the ones that was my, you know, the, my, my, my father and it, my aunt, they old. Okay, don't, you know, come on now. 
You know, even if you want to just put the recipe in there, you know, but give them their credit. Say where you got it from. Call it a copycat. Okay, don't don't do that. And people do that. People do that. Ah, it's like you did not create that. Look. Okay, I'm so livid for my father. Because it goes deeper than just that. It's, it's deeper. It's people. It's deeper than just that. You know, we, we got we to gotta get our stuff together, y'all. We got to start. This day and age, everything got to be, you know, patented and, and, and loyal, loy, lawyered up. We got to be lawyered up these days. We got to be lawyered up these days. Don't make no sense. Anyway, I have went on and on. I, I'm livid for them. I feel bad for them because people are just. They wrong and on, and on so many different levels, on so many different levels. You know what I'm saying? So that's enough of that, y'all. I didn't gave myself a look, gave my little self a little headache talking about that. OK, look. Gave myself a headache. Let me eat my other egg. And it gave myself a headache, y'all. I mean, talking almost 30 minutes about that. Okay? Look, can't even crack my egg. I mean, really? So, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm getting ready for to end this day. Well, I mean, end this day, in this class. Okay? I'm, I'm absolutely tired. I need a mental break. We all have to get that time. We need to woosaw and have a mental break because I'm telling you, we got to take time out for ourselves and give ourselves a mental break and be with our own self and, and think how, you know, hear our own minds, hear our own thoughts. Sometimes we just need to have a mental break, take a vacation from everybody and everything to regroup, to come back to yourself. OK, because you can lose yourself in this bull crap. It's a lot of bull crap that go on in this world. And if you don't take no mental break for yourself, you will lose yourself. And then you ain't going to be no good to yourself and nobody else around you. We have to take a mental break when things are getting too tough and you find yourself you know, can't sleep, can't think, be irritated all the time. It's time to take a, a woosaw from things. You know what I'm saying? And you, it, we have to be selfish with ourselves. Because we all we got. In the end. In the end. We all we got. We our own best friend. Ain't that what Beyonce said in the end? I forgot the name of that song. In the end. Hmm. Mm -hmm. In the end, we is all we got, y'all. I don't think I'm eat this all this yolk, cause I still gotta wash my cholesterol, cause yolk is high in cholesterol. So if I'm, I'm gonna eat the, I ate the whole yolk on the last one, and I, I put, took out half this yolk. Okay, I still gotta wash my cholesterols and my sugars. Okay. Y'all got to watch my cholesterol and the sugars. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Look here. I want you guys to have a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of it. If any of you guys are going through that, just know. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Chest out, head up, nose level. Because you don't want to be walking around with your nose all up in the air, all stuck up in the air. Okay? Keep your nose at a level. Keep your mind right. Catch yourself before you say something or do something. I'm talking to myself too, child. We got to catch ourselves, okay? For real though, look here. I ain't said this in a while. I want y'all to stay sucker free. Peace out.